Hello. Welcome to Card Might. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aries monthly money and career reading for October 2022. Aries, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for the upcoming month. Money and career. Money and career for October 2022. Aries, oh, the chariot. Success, determination. You're pushing forward. You're, you're, you're pushing forward because you're ready. You're ready to, um, I, I think you planned something or prepared something or ready to start something. When I say you're ready is that you already did the work. You did the homework or found the money or found the team or the logistics to make it happen. That's what the chariot is all about. It's having everything you need to push forward um, and uh, or 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 uh, now you can make a final decision uh, with alignment with what you really need or who, you, you know, what, what it is you really want to push forward. And it's with determination. And because you have set your objectives and now you know what this is all about, you know how you can plan this out, you know what you're doing, you know what the next job is, you know what the next uh, budget is. I don't know why I'm saying that. You, I, you know what your next step is, what your next move is, right? And so you, since your objectives are determined, then now you're channeling that power to just push forward and bring everything to fruition. It's that discipline and that commitment to achieve that goal, to achieve what you came here for, right? This is it. This is, you're making this happen and you will succeed. You will succeed, Aries. And now it's not the time to be passive, right? And just hope for the best. But you're not really like that, Aries. You like to be in control and you like to get the job done. So I think once you've determined what is essential, right? Honing in on the essential for you. So you can just push through any obstacle in your way, push through and make things happen. All right, let's see what's happening here. Yes, you've acquired the knowledge, you're rising up to something else. You've opened yourself up to, to other, other information, other, other type of information, other type of skills, knowledge, you're allowing all this to come in and you're, at, you're allowing yourself to enlarge your perspective and work maybe with more people or uh, different groups of people. Or for example, if you have a project, you're you're seeing it from different perspectives. So because maybe you have different teams, different people you're working with, and you're developing something um, in a much grander scale. So if it's a business, you might be opening up several shops, or if it's a job, you might be working in on different pro on several projects or in different services at the same time, right? Or you know, if you have a job and you have a, you're in one, um, on one in one team in one service, and then I don't think you say service, sorry, department department. That's what I was looking for. You're working in two departments at the same time. Uh, you're juggling, but in a good way, you're committed, you're committed to get, you know, all this done because you, you, you've decided, I feel like you, you want to acquire more knowledge and you want to, um, have a bigger, uh, a bigger playground, to play in, right? To work in. And you want to work with more people and you want to enlarge your professional realm, your professional playground, if that makes sense. I like that. Yes. You're you're excited to work with new people. It it seems like you enjoy these people, you enjoy this environment and you you're sort of celebrating, you know, being in the right place and 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 um enjoying working with these these teams of people and it's it's 
or and also maybe feeling comfortable right feeling comfortable that you're in the right place and and you're enjoying yes and it's wow it's very joyful aries good for you good for you pushing forward pushing forward on this beautiful platform now this can be creative aces for me are all about emotions creativity um building something maybe you're an artist and again doesn't have to be these are all just examples where you can develop an idea develop your talent put yourself out there whatever it is you know that you're you're um producing something maybe you're producing something maybe you're developing something maybe you're an author a writer a script writer maybe you're writing a book maybe you're writing a play doesn't have to be but maybe you are um, developing a product something artistic maybe you're developing something at home and you've discovered a platform where you can express your art where you can express your creativity whatever it is whether it's a business something you're making right something you're making uh, or transforming a hobby into your main gig or you know making something can be making art making jewelry making i see pottery plates and bowls and you know like service wear uh house wear but beautiful um uh sort of pottery handmade uh, beautiful objects or items wow okay and that might just be for one person. I don't know. But this is the joy of finding that right place, that right platform to express your talent, to express your creativity, to develop this business, this job, this project. Take it as it resonates. Yes, victory for you, right? Leading the way, uh, people enjoying the way you work, but also praising your talent, praising your commitment to the job, whatever it is. It's something really exciting. Five of Cups, that disappointment. I think that this Five of Cups, you and, but you have the King of Swords right next to the Five of Cups. So I think it's you seeing clear on the past situations. And if you want to... Um, go back to certain Aries readings uh, that I've done where there have been, you know, ups and downs and that goes for all signs, but like disappointments, regrets uh, of maybe past situations you didn't handle the way you would have handled, you might handle them today or people you worked with in the past that you might not work with today and sort of that seeing clear on on the objectives and seeing clear on the on the mistakes you made or on the um, on the decisions and the point of views that you will not go back to right it's that those objectives maybe that you had or maybe that point of view that you had back maybe a few a couple of months ago or even a couple of years ago where um things were difficult right in a business in a job or a collaboration or partnership you you know what you stand for now and you know what you are or not going to tolerate and now i think you have a call you're very sharp and very focused on not making those same mistakes. Now, it's not you, Aries, in particular that made the mistakes, because maybe I'm expressing myself in the wrong way, but it's um, it was just a way of working, pre-world situation, that progressively didn't, um, didn't work anymore didn't function anymore yes there you go the disappointments and the hurtful moments and the disengagements with certain people certain ways of working certain projects that just it didn't work out but i think it was also uh like many signs um understanding what is out there how we can work and 
what energies are out there and how how do we work now what's the situation what can we can what can we or can not do or what is possible and what is very complicated because the energies are different it's different out there so if you're ambitious if you have a project an idea you want to develop something it doesn't work the same way and people don't work the same way people don't have the same approach anymore yes and it's really figuring out how to navigate the uncertainties that's the way it is today how to navigate the consistent uncertainties of the ways to work of the ways to build a business get a job uh, find connections uh, develop a project yada 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 right take it as it resonates it's the the regrets and the difficulties and the hurtful moments we have had and i say we as a collective not only aries to just constantly um opening the door and finding a wall right and because um the patterns and the ways of working yes exactly that or different different approach to the jobs different approach to money different approach to uh yes connections and how people work with each other and even if some people are in, in, in denial which i know it's you know these new energies and you have the magician i i rarely look on the bottom of the deck but i just want to show you the magician so it's time time to make it happen no matter what you have everything you need all the power all the knowledge all the connections you did the job you did your homework you 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 have everything you need to now be able to start this business start this job start this project this idea take it as it resonates all right and so um, I really believe that the world is uh, separated in two categories and it might be a little bit for everything, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, and people that are aware and people that aren't aware or people that are in denial and people that actually um, feel these energies, this impact of energies and change constantly and are trying to navigate and figure it out. And then you have a whole bunch of people that are in denial and then just don't pay attention and just take a job and, oh, it's different, but okay, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's it. You know, going on to something else or, oh, why is this not working? And, oh, why, why don't I like these people? Or, you know, oh, but my life is the same. I just don't like these people or I don't know. No, things, the dynamic has changed. The access to um, jobs, the access to something interesting, uh, you know, to develop something. And especially if you're ambitious and especially if you're creative and especially if you have ideas and you're bold and you want to get out there and actually do something right make something um it's difficult it's difficult but it's out there and it's exist it exists and you can be powerful and do whatever you want but it's also important to understand that it it works in a different way so whether you want it or not whether you want to believe that the world is has remained the same no matter what and your life hasn't changed and everything's wonderful and why are even people even talking about difficult times which i don't know i guess maybe you live under a rock if everything is fantastic and has been right um whether you want it or not um the navigation the professional navigation career paths are different right so now we're all learning and we're all on that same wavelength of finding you know looking at things from a different perspective with the hangman it's things every day it is a different landscape every day is a different story where we think we have the codes right where we think 
we know how to do this because we're experienced. We have a lot of, uh, we have an all, a lot of knowledge. We, we have done this before. We have a career in this before, you know, and, and we know. Well, we don't. There we go. And so the hangman is, is just saying that every step of the way, Take a step back. If if you're not understanding, or it's not going the way you thought it was going to go, or you, you you know, or you, uh, yes, you, or it's not fast enough, or whatever it is that you're asking yourself the question, why? If you're asking yourself the question, why? Why is this not working? Or why am is not the right person? Or why why did why is am I not getting answers? Something like that. Take a step back and reassess the your perspective that's what the hangman is all about because it's different it's different and it's up to each and every one of us to understand everyone in our own way in your own life in your own situation for everyone it's going to be difficult to understand how to navigate so we will learn together right there's so many unknowns because when we do think, ah, okay, I got this. All right, I know. I shouldn't have gone left. I should have gone right. Okay, let me try this again to the right. Oh, okay. You turn, right? That's pretty much it. So we were we are learning together. We are learning. It's like a whole new blueprint. So let's navigate the new blueprint together. It's new, Hangman. And it's not fast. Nothing is fast. And when you think it's going to come in, it doesn't, or it comes in in a different way. It's not that nothing is happening. It's just a whole new ball game. And here, <laughs> that's exactly it. You're building. Look, look at this, right? It's like triumphant. You're leading. It's exciting. You're, you have a beautiful platform to express yourself or to build a new idea, a business, or get that new job with new people that you like. And at the same time, boom, oh, okay, uh, let me reassess because I like it. I like the vibe. I like the people, but I'm not quite sure what it looks like yet. Or they haven't responded. Or, you know, I don't have all the information. It's a lot of uncertainty, no matter what. But you're building you're building. See, it's like focus. Ooh, difficulties, uncertainties, focus, building, feeling left out, building, feeling left out. That is the energy that it feels like. It's not that nothing's happening. It's it, you are, you are confident and you are on, you are going to be successful, but it's really stop and go, stop and go. But kudos to you, Aries, for having that stamina, for having that willpower and that ambition to build something. Good for you. Good for you. All right, let's see if there are a few messages in the second deck. It's all about the uncertainties and the doubts. It's 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 almost like building and then going back to the to the blank page and re um, sort of going back to the drawing board and, and uh, moving forward and going back to the drawing board and moving forward, you know, keep going. Yes. Take a step back and it's exhausting. I understand. Take a rest, take a breather when you have to. And, um, but yes, you're marching forward. See, again, again, it's marching forward you, this, if this is a creative project or whatever kind of project, it is moving forward no matter what. It's moving forward, but it's, it's, you know, stop and go, stop and go. All right. But whatever it is, take the time, take the time to reassess, take the time to breathe, to rest. <coughs> All right, let's see if there are a few more cards. <coughs> Aries. Monthly money and career for October 2022. Okay. 
Am I taking these? Yes. Okay. Oh, more? No, I'm not taking these. All right. Sorry. Sometimes it feels right and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes there are a lot of cards that come out and not all the cards are for this reading. And so I don't want to. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Oh, well. These popped out very directly and you have the magician. Yes, you're in your comfort zone. I think you're I think you're okay with this. You're you're ready. You're ready even <laughs> the the six of cups is being in that soulful sort of like childlike energy, going back to a comfort zone, being comfortable with who you are, being comfortable and or it can also be either working with children or going back to something, right? It's the nostalgia of those comfortable moments, those beautiful moments, childhood memories. But so it can be going back to those childhood memories. So going back to your hometown, developing something in your hometown, home country, old neighborhood, or working with friends, working with people you really trust, or working with family, right? Uh, that is what it's all about. You're in a zone of something that is uh, familiar to you. And it's something that you enjoy. So, yes, it can be family that's familiar, friends that's familiar. It can also be uh, working with an old company you used to work with or an old group of people you used to work with or back in, you know, in another city or another part of your town or city that you really enjoyed or not a job you really enjoyed, right? Going back to that, something that is familiar to you. And you have the magician that wanted to come out earlier, right? It's time. And not only is it time, but trust yourself because it's it's the right moment it's it's you you have you see the magician you really have gained and um um gathered um all information all focus uh, you have the probably have the finances the energy the knowledge um the ambition to push forward is that it Yes. Uh, uh, let's see if there's one last, last uh, message for the road. Apologies for my voice, but I am on the mend, Aries. So it happens. All right. Let's see if there's one last message for the road, Aries. Monthly money and career, Aries. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet. It helps the channel grow, as well as reaching others that might be interested in these messages or this motivation or information or support, call it as you wish. So please subscribe and hit the bell. It's important. And comment down below. Let me know where you stand on your journey. Let me know what you're developing, what you're working on, what this is all about, because you have done your, done your homework. Oh, look, yes, exactly. It's time. Ace of Swords. Perfect. New direction, new idea, new job, new focus, new clarity. Take it as it resonates. It's getting clearer and clearer in your mind. I mean, I think you've been working on the same project, business, idea, for a while, it may be might be shifting people or shifting ways of developing it or shifting ways of getting that job or getting that promotion, whatever it means for you. But wow, it's just determination, determination, determination. And now you really have the clarity of how you are going to push forward. It is ex if is it exactly how it's going to pan out? Maybe not. But you know how to get there and you know how to navigate these new energies and you know there's a lot of unknown and you know there's going to be a lot of twists and turns, but you have the stamina and the power and the ambition to make it happen. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. 
comment down below. Let me know what you are doing, where you stand on your path, what you're building, what your ambition is. It is. Um, again, thank you to each and every one that has already subscribed and that is supporting this channel. Thank you to all. And if you've just stumbled upon this channel and enjoyed this reading and, and connected with it in some way, shape, or form, please subscribe and hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Have a great month. Take care. Bye-bye.